And can you imagine being Paul Heyman and you got to go out there last week and cut a promo on Raw about how Roman wants this belt, but he's not allowed in the tournament because he's on SmackDown. And then on the very next show, they announce that there's six SmackDown wrestlers that are going to compete for this title, one of whom is the U.S. champion Austin Theory. And none of them are named Uso or Sokoa? I'm going to go out on a limb, and I'm going to say that Edge, I'm just going to make it silly. Edge and Ray are the final two. Edge wins, and Seth Rollins and Edge is our final in Saudi Arabia, which Seth wins. That's my prediction. All right. Anybody else? No. I'm still going with Seth, and I'll say Austin Theory and Edge, and Austin Theory wins, and then he loses to Seth in Saudi Arabia. You know, I... I don't I, know if that's uh, a big enough match for the king, but... I I sometimes see these people that go, how come every stupid thing that happens is Vince's fault? That's what they ask me. Can't possibly be Hunter? And I presume these people don't actually watch the show. Because if you watch the eight months when Vince wasn't there, there are things that you might not like. There are things that you might disagree with booking-wise. But there was nothing just flat-out stupid that happened. And the moment this guy came back, we now see stupid things. Like, this tournament is stupid. The storyline is stupid. Like, it's all stupid. We've seen stupid things change, like the draft and the, the components of the draft in the week leading up to the point where they announce rule changes and then don't let anybody know. So when SmackDown drafts, people are wondering why teams are being drafted and this and that. It's just been, it's, look, people don't want to believe that that's, that this is the case and things aren't changing and things aren't going back in some ways to what they were because of Vince. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, I really don't. Okay, two things here. First off, uh, LH here goes, carrying that water for Paul again. Listen, if you don't like Hunter for one reason or another, fine, okay? But we have literally seen this. It was stupid, and then Vince left, and everything was logical, whether you liked it or not, whether the shows were exciting or not. Everything made logical sense building the shows. And now Vince came back, and it's stupid. How is this carrying water for somebody? Really? And then DJ goes, the uh, the uh, belt was commissioned a long time ago. Okay. That's fine. That has nothing to do with the way that they explain this, which is Roman is such an unbeatable star. That we need to get him out of here. And make a belt for all the other losers. But the thing was, it has were... nothing to do with a stupid tournament that involves SmackDown wrestlers wrestling for a Raw title. Dude, you can have a second title. I disagree that there should be another title. Okay? I disagree with that. But you can have another title and not make everything about it be stupid, which is what they've done. So, yeah, it, can, it could have been commissioned a year ago. Okay? But... You didn't have to make a stupid tournament. You didn't have to have a tournament with Raw and SmackDown wrestlers right after the draft. You didn't have to have this stupid nonsense that whoever's in charge of SmackDown, who, by the way, we don't even know who's in charge of SmackDown. Who's drafting these SmackDown and Raw guys? We don't even know. But this idiot on SmackDown is so stupid that he has said, okay, Theory, AJ, Bobby, Ray, Edge, and Sheamus, you can all be in this tournament. Even though if one of you win, you're gone. I don't get you anymore. That's stupid. The whole thing is stupid, whether you have another belt or not. I agree with all of that. And the whole thing about, you know, well, the belt was commissioned way back. Yeah, okay, but they didn't go ahead and do the split. And the thing is, we don't know how Hunter, without Vince being in the scene, would have done this draft and would have done this split. Everything was leading to this point anyway, obviously, with what they've done with Roman Reigns. That was obvious in the deal with Cody. Okay, this is what they were doing no matter what after this draft. But now with Vince back in the mix, we don't know what Hunter would have done. But we see the same things that have been Vince tells for a long time. And some of the things that have happened and some of the, again, changing of scripts, you know, changing of rules midstream, things being dropped out of nowhere, things being brought in, all that sort of stuff that have been 
hallmarks of Vince in the last several years. I mean, they're all right there. And you can't put that on Hunter because we don't know what Hunter would have done. The main event. I was so disgusted. Why does a guy like that that's been a champ for so long have to have three guys come in and help him? Disgusting, isn't it? Yes, it is so disgusting. There was a lot of great matches. There was the first day. The second day was back to this same old crap. Her favorite was Gunther versus Drew versus Sheamus. Oh, Inter- I hate Gunther. You hate Gunther? Really? Hate Why do you hate about him? Just doesn't look right to me. <laughs> doesn't look right to you. Okay. All right. His favorite was the first 34 minutes of Cody Roman. His least favorite was the final three seconds of Cody Roman. Granny, do you agree with any of these uh, opinions here? What was that? I think she fell asleep. Yeah. Bailey was on Wheel of Fortune. Mm hmm. And by E. By E? It said by E. Big E. Big E. Okay. Big E. (laughs) (laughs) For your birthday this year, I'm not going to get you something decent. You're going to get nothing. Granny. (laughs) Wow. (laughs) Comic book villain. I keep saying this. If you enjoy these videos for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full length editions of the Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.